And here's the the worst irony of this Democratic National Convention yet. How much Democrats care for children? Meanwhile, we now know it wasn't 30,000 or 60,000 children that the Biden administration lost at the border. Yeah, lost to you know what. It's 600,000. Cares. Cares about kids and families. Cares about America. Secure our borders without tearing kids away from their parents. And here's the announcement. 600,000. Now, what do you think has happened? They're not lost. Shows that the U.S. has lost 300,000 migrant children. Lost them. We know that they came across the border unaccompanied. These are only the ones that we've counted. We've got to think that it's inflated by more than that. But this is what we're counting. We know that there are almost 500,000 that have come across the border since 2019. And more than 300,000 of them are lost. Here's the report. I want to encourage you to seek it out for yourself. It's from the Department of Homeland Security, dated just this week. The title says it all. You can find it at dhs.gov, by the way. And also, I linked you to it in the newsletter this morning so you can read it for yourself. The title says, Management Alert, ICE Cannot Monitor All Unaccompanied Migrant Children Released from DHS and the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Custody. Can't monitor him. Don't know where they are. Someone in our chat just says, in our Rumble chat, says lost or uh, sold. Well, we're going to talk about where we think that they're going. Yes, exactly that. This is not an issue of misplaced paperwork. These are children that the government knew of and didn't even try to find or follow them or put them in a safe place. And the report warns that missing children, quote, are considered at higher risk for trafficking, exploitation, or forced labor. Now, we've known about this. In April of 2023, a human uh, HHS whistleblower testified about this to uh, the House Judiciary Committee. She also spoke to Redacted last month, and Clayton asked her, how does this happen? Where are they coming from? What is actually going on here? Listen to this example she gave of how this is happening. We need yeah. to shine a light on this because it's so dark. Can you talk about where, you, where are these kids coming from? They're having panic attacks without their parents. So are they being, uh, are coyotes bringing them across the border and they're being dropped at these facilities? How exactly are they arriving in these facilities in the first place before the United States government then traffics them around the other parts of the United States? Yeah, well, it's a very well organized criminal operation. So I can give you an example of one of our cases out of Texas. There was a Guatemalan living in Texas and he had children who he was luring from Guatemala telling them, look, you're making $2.50 a day now, but if you come to the United States, I'm gonna pay you $6 an hour. So some of the children are lured, like they believed they were gonna be Bill Gates rich, right? Instead of making $2.50 a day, they're more than doubling and tripling their wages. They're like $6 an hour, wow. So they're lured. Some of them are stolen from their families sometimes their families are being sold a bill of goods that, hey, if you send your child to the United States, they're going to be able to send money back to you. And Mm. we'll give you money now if you let us take your child. So let's say trafficking. I can't say the first part of it. You know what what they're up to. This is the biggest explosion of child trafficking in the history of the world. And Joe Biden is behind it. Joe Biden allowed this to happen. The Biden-Harris administration sat back and watched it happen. This is gross incompetence, gross criminality. And that's how much Kamala Harris cares for children and how much Hillary doesn't care for children. Barack Obama doesn't care for children. Joe Biden didn't care for children. That's what this scandal is about. And that's what the DNC was all about hypocrisy. Anyway. Thank you for watching this episode of Stand on Guard and being a part of the Creighton's Right channel. If you've watched this episode to this point, you've watched it all. And that's really important for a small station like this. We always say subscribe, 
hit the bell, be a part of the Creighton resistance. Resolve to resist. That's what we're doing. And if you become a subscriber, if you're a supporter of this station or a member through Substack, through YouTube, and now you can be a local as well, that's so important to us because I couldn't do this without you. I made a decision to become an independent journalist about a year ago because I wanted to bring all of my experience in the military, in journalism, to you. I don't promise anything I can't deliver. I don't offer clickbait. I offer truth. The truth is out there. And it's my job to bring that truth to light and to you. Thanks for being a part of the Creighton's Right Resistance, and we'll see you again soon. So we are in a very precarious position in this country. We need a political change, but we also need to resolve to resist.